This is Corston, as we can see from the village sign. It's about three and a half kilometres to the east of Reefham and approximately seven kilometres to the west of Ailsham. And once again, a, a magnificent, I'd say powerful church. Let's have a look inside. Now this church here seems to be making a statement to me. It's, it's a different style. It's, it, when I say powerful, it, it looks uh, looks pretty strong. It looks pretty well built. It looks uh, different from some of the medieval ones, and clearly it isn't medieval. Um, but at the same time, the stones in the in the graveyard are old. Like we've seen, well, 19th century. That's not so old, like most others have seen so far. But that's... Oh, look at that, isn't that quite impressive? Really? I've got a feeling that isn't the way in. So I'll have a walk around first. Now we have these wonderful sounds of spring. Fortunately the church is closed. And it seems to... What can we see? It's obviously, it's very large inside. It's not very ornate, though. There's no uh, uh, nice um, stained glass windows like the Reefham, for example. Typical Norfolk structure with this flint. And there's a bit of brick as well. So it's St. Agnes's Church, with a sign outside that uh, the Sunday school in the winter is very wisely being moved to somewhere warmer. But here, this is 20th century, or maybe that's 19th, oh, I doubt it. <laughs> 